location. At 831, we are back now with more of our Hurricane Arthur coverage. Uh, there's Now that the sun has come up, we have seen uh, some damage in several places. Big concerns this morning about roads, especially Route 12. Let's go to North Carolina right now. Nag said specifically our Erin Kelly spent the night there and she's looking at conditions this morning. Erin? Good morning. We are on 64 in Nags Head. Take a look behind me. The water from the sound has come over the road here. People are still driving through it. Uh, it had been blocked off at both ends, but it looks like people are trying to go through it right now. This is the sound side flooding we had been talking about overnight and into this morning. And we actually drove up here um, and from the other direction. We, we saw similar flooding in other places. We saw um, Putt Putt golf courses that were flooded. We saw other businesses that were flooded. Same situation with the sound coming over here. So, um, and you can see behind me, the waves are really still being driven by the wind here, crashing into uh, the rocks there. And this is, you know, something we've seen all morning. We've, we've been dealing with this wind. Even as Arthur moves out of this area, we're still seeing that wind. We're going to send it back to you now from Nags Head. Boy, Aaron, it's pretty interesting that those cars were allowed to cross. We saw them stopped uh, by the uh, the police uh, or sheriff's office, whoever that is right there. They were stopped um, about 10 minutes ago, and suddenly they were allowed to cross. Doesn't that look like a fairly dangerous situation, or is the water not as deep as it might seem? It's hard to tell from here, Katie, how deep the water is and what, what's going on on the other side there. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you, the people that are attempting it are, are doing so pretty slowly because it looks like they're not, they're not sure themselves how deep it is. Um, but I will check with officials on that, see if we can get a word on whether or not they plan on opening this road up or if they've already done that or what the situation is here. But we just got here. We just saw the sound washing over the road here. And as I mentioned, the other direction, and a lot of businesses were seeing it fill in around uh, go mini golf courses and places like that. So um, certainly a lot of people are going to be dealing with this. There's also going to be other cars that may be um, needing to be get towed out of there because they're also uh, getting flooded in around there. All right, Aaron Kelly, thank you so much for that report. Of course, we're going to be checking in with you and stay safe while all that sound flooding is yeah. happening where you are.